Hi, everybody. Welcome to our lesson number six on how to read notes. Today is our first lesson focusing on the bass clef. So before we start, I would like to read Meet the Clefs again, just to remind you a little bit about the difference between the bass clef and the treble clef. Here we go. Meet the Clefs. This is a story about a brother and sister who live together in a big house. Bass clef and treble clef. They are very similar, but they are also very different. Remember a good way to help you remember that the treble is on top and the bass is on the bottom is that treble and top start with T, T, treble, T, top, and bass and bottom start with B, B, bass, B, bottom. Here is middle C. Bass lives downstairs from middle C. Treble lives upstairs from middle C. Bass is left-handed. When he does things like draw or paint, he uses his left hand. Take your left hand and put it on top of bass's left hand. Good. Treble is right-handed. She uses her right hand to do things like write and throw a ball. Take your right hand and put it on top of treble clef. If you are ever playing the piano and, and your notes are on the treble clef, you're gonna use your right hand. If you are playing the piano and your notes are on the bass clef, you use your left hand. Bass likes the color yellow. He only eats yellow food like bananas, lemons, and corn. Treble loves the color red. She only eats red food such as cherries, strawberries, and raspberries. Bass and treble are both musicians. They sing and play many instruments. Bass plays low notes that sound like this. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Treble sings notes that are high like this. Ti, 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 ta, ta. Bass lives downstairs and treble lives upstairs, but there is one part of the house that they share, the floor in the middle, which they call middle C. They will sometimes meet in the middle to sing and play music. Why do you think that I made middle C orange? Look at the color of treble clef and look at the color of bass clef. What happens when you mix red and yellow? What color does red and yellow together make? Orange, so that's why I made middle C orange because they come together at middle C. When they are done singing and playing at middle C, bass walks downstairs singing the alphabet backwards. C, B, A, those are the notes we're gonna start learning today. Treble goes up the stairs and sings the alphabet forward. C, D, E, those are the notes we've been learning. The two clefts live in different parts of the same home making music, both equally talented and both sounding very beautiful. Thanks for visiting, come back soon. So just to show you this, middle C is not called middle C because it's in the middle of the piano. That's what a lot of people think. They think it's called middle C because when you're playing the piano, it's in the middle. That's not why. The reason that middle C is called middle C is because it's in the middle of the treble and the bass clef. So they actually share that line, just like we saw in the story. So I'm going to put back our line for middle C. Let's count how many lines are on the bass clef. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So the bass clef and the treble clef both have five lines. And again, the line for middle C is not part of the lines for the bass clef. It's its own special line. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna take a note and put it on middle C. And remember, oh, I dropped it. Remember the head of the note, right? We have the head and the stem. It can go this way, but for the bass clef, it's gonna go this way. The head of the note 
the line is going right through the middle. If I were following this line, it goes right through the head. That's how we know the note is on middle C. Here we go. C, that's our first note that we're learning on the bass clef, C, C, C. Our second note on the bass clef is B. B is under C, but it's not yet on that line. Just like for D, it was just under the line. For B, it's right over the line. So watch this. So here's the line. You see how it's not going through the head? These two notes, these eighth notes, are both Bs. Ta-da! And our last note, which is on the top line, you see how the line is going right through the head of the note? This is A. These are the three notes that we are learning today on the bass clef, C, B, A. If you notice, the direction of the notes are going down. The treble clef, the notes start at C and they go higher. On the bass clef, they start at C and they go lower. And the sound gets lower too. Just like on the treble clef, the sound gets higher. And on the bass clef, the sound gets lower. All right, let's do a couple of practice ones together. Oh no, where is my line? I'll have to use this one. Here is my line for middle C. And it seems my whole note has fallen off somewhere. It was just here. Here we go. I got a new one. All right, let's start nice and easy. We're gonna put a note on the special line. So we know that anytime we have a note that has its own special line right there, what note is that? If you said C, you are correct. Good job. Let's do our next one. We are moving down. There is no line going through the head of the note. Which of these notes does not have a line going through the head? Is it C? Is it B? Is it A? Look, this is B. If you said B, you are correct. Good job. Let's do one more. I went down, right? That's the direction my note went. It went down. And now I do have a line going through the head of the note. Let me follow this and find the other note that is on this same line. Oh, look, there it is. What note is that? If you said A, good job. Go and do your matching game and let's see how you're doing. <laughs> 